Hey, how's everybody doing? So today we're gonna to be working on building a stand. Uh, I'm doing it for an aquarium. So this is gonna be a, a large weight bearing tank. Uh, it's gonna be for reptiles. Probably could do it for water if it's a little bit uh, smaller size tank. But I'm building this off of a uh, 75 gallon aquarium. We're gonna use it for reptiles. Uh, but this is a table you can use for anything. This is a pet and fish based channel, but this can be used for anything. If you're anything like me and you can't fight the bowl of spending $300, $500, $600 on a, just a standard table to hold your aquarium or to put something against the wall, uh, I will be basing off of this picture I'll show you real quick. So let's go ahead and jump into it. I'm going to show you all my cuts I'm making and then just kind of the quick process of how I'm putting this together. I haven't seen any tables like this on any videos. I'm sure there's tons of things out there. There's a hundred different ways you can build a table. Uh, but let's go ahead, I'll show you the cuts I have, the measurements, and then jump into the final product and make this video pretty quick today. So I've already started making some of my cuts. I wanna show you guys what's going on. Um, so you'll need a saw. I'll need, you'll need some clamps for later on. Um, this is really nice, this plastic wood that's gonna hide all your flaws and things like that. Uh, you can use wood glue. I'm not positive if I'm gonna use it or not. Uh, and then I'm using number eight, two and a half inch screws. I'm just using drywall screws because um, I think it bites better than the wood and it doesn't split as easily. Uh, when you use the deck screws, they're stronger, but sometimes they kind of strip towards the end. Um, but here's how the frame's gonna be on the top. So we're gonna be putting the tank down tall ways. And then all the support, so we made our two cuts. This is, the tank's a 48 by 18. Uh, we're gonna go 48 and a half inches by 18 and a half inches. And this middle cut is 11 and three quarters. Uh, so that 11 and three quarter inch plus the wood and the wood is two by fours, but three and a half inch by one and a half inch. It's not actually two by four inches. Uh, so we made two cuts at 48 and a half, two cuts at 11 and three quarters, and then eight cuts and you can do this to any height. Another thing nice about making your own custom table or anything, you can make it to the height. So I'm building it to the height of my window seal. So I wanna have a 32 inch total height. So I'm going at 30 and a half inch. And this top piece of wood, you can do a frame like this and it's gonna be screwing down. So the way it's gonna work, the support system. So when you're looking at the tank from the front or the back, you're just gonna see a flat piece of wood, but all the weight in the corners you see how this is gonna connect, we're gonna kind of make this L shape. All the weight pushing down is gonna be wood on wood. So that's why the screws aren't that important. But let's go ahead, I'm gonna screw this wood from that side in. And we're probably gonna to toss like three or four screws in there, make our four legs, get our top on. And then I'm gonna do another piece of coming across the side, two supports on either side, then one across the middle. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and show you what it looks like. All right, so I got two of the legs made here. I was gonna show you how it's gonna look. So the wood's always gonna overhang where they connect. So everything's resting on wood. So there's our one leg and our second leg. I'll just show you real quick how I'm screwing these together. Always make sure all the wood on either side's flush. Clamp down either side. It's okay to sink those in a little bit further because that's what we're going to use our uh, our wood paste for to kind of cover those holes up.
All right, guys, now that we've got our two um, front and back of our legs and the tops, as you saw me kind of struggle through that, a lot of this stuff, anytime you're building anything, it's all preparation. I'm not really preparing this. I'm just kind of going on the fly today, but it's working out so far. Uh, this next part, I'm going to make sure on a nice level surface, even outside, you can see me struggling with uh, the driveway not being level. If you're doing this on a flat floor, here I have a piece of wood that's going to help me out. That's definitely important. And just constantly, you can just feel that the wood is flush. If you feel it's flush, it's, it's going to be good. Um, and you have to just be kind of slow and steady with that. Now this next part, we're just going to be going and putting on our tops. So they're going to need to be balanced. So I'm going to throw a screw in each of these. And these are only going to have one contact patch. But most of the weight's in the corner. So I'm not too worried about this. And like I said, it doesn't have to hold a lot of weight. And if you're using a sheet of plywood, probably like a three quarter inch, um, make it look a little bit nicer. You could use smaller legs if you're just building a table. Uh, this will be a little overkill. And then we're going to come back, maybe throw another support under here. Now I'm looking at it. And then I am going to be putting a support here and we're running a piece of wood across the center. I may do one. If I want to do 10 gallons under here, which I might, I'll do two two by fours coming through the center there. That way I could have it rest on that. And these screws can hold like a hundred pounds. I'll actually look to make sure, but a 10 gallon tank, it's about eight pounds a gallon. So that's 80 pounds. So if one of these screw, screws hold a hundred pounds and I'm putting four screws on either side, we got four, 800 pounds there and we're only holding up about 200 pounds. So I'm not too worried about a 10 gallon tank, but let's get this top secured. I probably will throw support underneath here. Even if I just do two blocks in either corner, uh, that might be what I go ahead and do. Yeah, let's go ahead and I'm going to toss this little square block in all four corners here and then we'll get this all uh, tidied up. So here you can see I put this little square block under here. Four screws, definitely overkill. Most of the stuff usually is. Uh, make sure your angling screws are uh, changing them so they don't cross and hit the other screws. So that screw coming in, I don't want to hit that. So I put on a slight angle or I'd go lower, left or right, etc. And the top, this is flush here. So when that piece of wood's coming across, it's going to be way, way stronger. Honestly, this thing might be able to hold water after all once we're done building it. But that's what you see what that looks like. And I'm going to go ahead and repeat that uh, three more times. Uh, and then I just clamped it to the piece of wood. And then if you're worried about ever splitting the wood, uh, go in, then back it out. That's why I'm also using these drywall screws because um, they can kind of go through the wood a little bit easier without splitting it. Uh, the decking board doesn't really like the deck screws, in my experience, doesn't really like to do that. If you go too far to really drive it in there, it just kind of sticks and just stops going. Um, so these you really can drive in a little bit further on the inside here There's no need to go any further than that, but out here. I'm going to just fill those with some uh, Wood filler, but I'm gonna go ahead and fill those uh, rest of those corners in and then we'll put the tops on Got those uh, all put in there. The last ones you can see I only put three So I did two on the left up and down. And I kind of did like a triangle Now that I'm looking at it I probably could have went just two on the bottom because I'm gonna be screwing downward on these pieces of wood uh, so hopefully I don't hit those screws. I'll kind of aim them to miss them, but uh, let's go ahead and put these tops down and get this thing wrapped up. Honestly, just this alone, we're pretty close. Uh, I'll put another piece of wood coming across here that's going to really tidy it up and just to be really safe. We'll take a piece of wood in between that's going to go through that piece of wood that goes in that little notch straight across. That way the legs don't want to bow out, but I don't think it's going to happen, but we're going to do it anyways. Uh, Cause we know in this hobby we do move things around. Uh, if you ever want to slide this, I just did it with all my other tanks. Um, and I built those things really strong. Uh, I'll show you a video of that here soon. I'm going to do a fish room tour. Uh, that's kind of why I'm finishing this. I want the rim to look nice, get everything all tidy up together. Um, but I moved all those tanks and I just drained the water out. They had gravel and fish in them. And I slid them across with some sliders. Uh, but if I didn't have a stand, I had a stand from Petco. Or one of those uh, pet stores that just goes really cheap wood. I uh, would not have been comfortable at all doing that. But uh, since I build those things, the last, uh, I was pretty comfortable doing that without any concerns. But let's go ahead. I'm going to screw this down. No real need in seeing that. We'll jump to the next steps. And I'll probably just show you the final product next. Because uh, this video is going to get long. But like I was saying, we're going to screw this all together now. I'm going to go ahead and just jump to the end when I have this thing done. I'll probably paint it, show you the final product. I'll sand it down before I paint it. And I think it's gonna come out pretty nice and it's gonna look nice from the front, uh, which was the main goal of my thing. I didn't wanna build a fish tank stand with all these random bars. When you look at it from the front, I want it to look like somewhat a piece of furniture uh, without totally framing it in with, um, with uh, 
three quarter inch plywood. I did that in my other stands. I did doors, made them look real nice. I want this to be open concept. I want it to be easy to clean underneath it, all of that kind of stuff. I want it to just be nice, but not crazy expensive. So let's go ahead and get this all wrapped up. Alrighty, here we go, guys. So here we have it. Only thing I have to do now is sand it down and paint it. I think it came out pretty good. Kind of just kind of went step by step, but got the whole top frame. That's going to be your main cuts. Got your supports. Another support down here. Uh, just measuring as you go. I measure from the top down to find out my gap. Um, about 10 inches off the ground. Uh, it just so happens that the two by fours, when you do three side by side, it is the exact uh, width of a 10 gallon tank. So I'll be able to fit two 10 gallons right there. And I just screwed this straight down. So looking from the front, this was my main goal. You see a two by four. I didn't want to see the like the V shape and have to do a ton of pieces of wood because I didn't need all that strength. Um, and I honestly think if I ever want to put a 75 on top of this or even do like a piece of wood and a 55 gallon, some extra supports in the middle, I think it'd be no problem. I think it's gonna be plenty strong enough. Um, but for right now, we're just doing a 75 gallon on top with no water and then two 10 gallons underneath. But yeah, I think it came out pretty good. Do a little walk around so you guys can see. If you need to pause the video and look at where I screwed stuff in. Um, for these bottom pieces here, we got four screws holding it in. One screw coming across, it goes in between the two. So that's, I forget what it is. I think it's like 80 pounds, 50 pounds of screw. So we have plenty of, uh, so say it was 50 pounds. We got 100, 250, 500 pounds on either side for some 10 gallon tanks. And these, you typically won't have the wood up, but we're going sideways, but they're just 10 gallon tanks. So they're not gonna take a lot of weight. And we got three of them here. So I think that's plenty strong. But yeah, honestly, I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. You can see that the wood overlaps. So this is all wood down. So I put a heavy tank on top here. It's not resting on screws, it's resting on these two pieces of wood. So I would say this is plenty strong enough for an aquarium. Um, I think it's like 800 pounds for a two by four. So yeah, we're way overkill now I'm thinking about it. But yeah, I'm super happy with it. I'm gonna sand it down, paint it. I'll show you what the final result looks like with the tanks on it. And then we'll do a fish room tour, or kind of living room tour at this point. I have the tank spread out throughout the whole house. But um, yeah, if you guys haven't already, go below, like the video if this was helpful for you. Gave you some good ideas. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Uh, do a lot of aquarium updates, fish updates. We're gonna start doing some more stuff with, with my new reptile we just got. I wanna do some updates on my bird. Uh, Cause out here, I'm kind of delayed. You can see the yard's a mess. I'll make this quick, but I'm putting a deck on, I'm putting a pond in, uh, maybe do a flight cage for my bird. So a lot of cool stuff going on. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy it, stuff I, I like to share. So kind of tracking the journey, but let's jump ahead, check out the final product. All right, so here we're almost done. I got my first coat of paint on. Pretty excited about this. I think it came out really nice. Missed a little spot of paint there, but like I said, there's only one coat down, one coat to go. But yeah guys i'm pretty happy with this and like all these little uh touch-ups can't say it enough this plastic wood this is going to be the one thing that you use when it's like family or friends check out your stuff you're like oh, okay cool yeah you built something uh can it hold the weight to wow you built that that looks really nice uh so definitely uh use that i'm gonna put um all the products in the description below whether you just go to home depot and pick it up or if you want to order stuff online uh just kind of get your shopping cart all ready but yeah, I'm really happy about this. I'm gonna get another coat of paint on this, uh, get it set up, and then we can go take a look at the final product. All right, guys, here you have it. Uh, so I think this came out really nice. I'm pretty excited about it. So got it all painted. I did a second coat on it. Uh, try to get a little closer so you guys can see the detail on it a little bit. Um, it's just two by fours. I mean, it doesn't look perfect up top, but I'm gonna put the tank there anyways. It doesn't matter. Down here, I did um, three two by fours, and I just put them together, did a little wood filler in between. Uh, if you get close to me, it's not perfect wood, but I think it looks really good. Like from across the room, looks really nice. And most importantly, it's gonna be very sturdy. Uh, so if you get a head on view, you don't see any of the little side studs. I think it's pretty nice. That way you actually have your support system. Uh, you have a little bit of tabletop. And honestly, you could do just a piece of, piece of uh, plywood on top of this, like a three quarter inch. And this is a nice little table. That centerpiece, you could do one two by four instead of doing three. Uh, I'm gonna put two 10 gallon tanks down there 
And then this is the 75 gallons going on top. Uh, so I'm pretty excited to get this all set up. I'm working on a couple of projects, but yeah guys. So if you want to build a stand or a um, table, this is kind of a little how-to video and just a little bit update to the channel. It wasn't really that hard to build. I have some practice doing this stuff, um, but I don't have any like, uh, special skills in doing these kinds of things. Uh, I've just kind of trial and error and doing it for years just because sometimes you can't get what you want at the store so or you don't have the money to do it so you just have to kind of do it yourself uh, so if I can do it you guys can do it uh, hopefully you guys are a little inspired to build something or set up a new little project uh, that's kind of my goal I love sharing the channel I want to inspire other people to build things set up tanks do what you enjoy doing something you're passionate about don't hesitate just go ahead and do it whether it's a uh, big or small it doesn't really matter um, but this is going to be my next new pet and that's kind of on the goal of I've always wanted to have one of these guys. It's been like, a, hey, one day I'll have one of these. Uh, so that's what it's all about, sharing the journey, uh, kind of taking that leap and just going after it. So thanks for watching, guys. Like the video below if you haven't already. Comment. I'm going to do a whole fish room tour here coming up shortly. Um, but stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate you very much. Bye.